Another beautiful day in California, and this time we're at Rodney Strong. Underneath the Tate's room with the lower cellar, I don't know if you got a chance to walk around that balcony out there. Kind of, yeah. We saw the barrels on the one side. Yeah, yeah. You get a little bit dirty. I mean, you can see what's going on down below, you know, the dirty yeah. part of winemaking in the cellar, you know, and that's that's really the heart of it. And really, we'll go into that, too. This, this is called the old Redwood Barn. So it's just ancient. I mean, if we tore this down, they wouldn't let us rebuild it just because it's right next to a creek. It's kind of grandfathered. Uh, I've been here for six years. I came over as uh, the quality control lab manager. Okay. And I turned that duty over to my friend and, and co-worker, Liana. So she runs both, both labs now, the bottling and the lab. And I'm just focused on winemaking. So I've been making wine since 2007. So these are 14,000 gallon tanks. If you come down here, you can see down below. It's, um, it's, it is really the heart of the winery. And the are right back there. <laughs> We have a little one in here. We're standing in barrel room A, and through the big roll-up door is barrel room D, where Ringo is, and way down there is barrel room C. And we actually have a barrel room D out back. The roof of this whole building is covered in solar panels. You know, you hear about people who do whole cluster pressing. Uh, we do 100% cluster pressing. What happens if you if you take if you de-stem and you only have grapes, you squish them. It, the juice is just kind of locked in this maze of grapes, and it has nowhere to get out. And when you do uh, whole cluster pressing, actually those uh, stems form little channels, little highways for the juice to dribble out through, and it runs right through it. Our charts that are just super butterscotch, super okay. We don't want that. We want it to be fruit balanced. You know, we, we don't mind the alcohol it goes up to 14 and a half, 14 point seven. Um, yeah, you mentioned some of the Zins. They go higher than that. Yeah, high. The Zins, that's a whole different story. That's a party crowd right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zin drinkers, that's boy, they flavor. they like alcohol, they don't mind sugar, and they're ready to go. I tell you what. The Pinot crowd's a little different. <laughs> this is a this is a um, a little more of a muscatty plum. What I mean, it's kind of got a little more of a floral note to it. And so, let's see if that comes across. You ever drop anything in there by accident? Uh, on occasion, uh, I think the lab techs have dropped a thief in there before. And as long as the glass isn't broken, which it isn't, it just you know, hits, the, hits it.